as well as you could pressure it without touching the guy. It was it was pretty impressive the way he did it. Our guys were defending the post. You could see they were showing their their hands to the officials, and I'm not touching them here, but yet they were moving in proper position. So I thought we began to adjust on the floor, but in practice this week, we've just been pointing those out, uh, some of those fouls. And uh, we're trying to eliminate the fouls that have nothing to do with the uh, freedom of movement, the, the, the ones where we're slapping down. We think we have a steal and we slap down. A uh, guy gets a rebound and we go in because we missed the layup. We're upset and we crash the guy, you know, those type of things and fouls we're trying to eliminate. Is it particularly difficult for post players? I guess, especially for you guys, don't have the, the tallest post players or the, you know, the bulkiest post players. Is it, is it going to be harder for those guys to not lean on a guy or use their hands that way? I don't think that's, I don't think that's been the problem for us as much. Again, uh, the fouls where we're trying to get around in the front of the post and the ball is passed, and we reach for it and and slap the guy or hit the guy. Those are the ones that we have to stay away from, and that's us in terms of our technique getting better, getting around the post quicker. So inside that way, I don't I don't know if that's what's getting us in foul trouble. Uh, it's more us being late, getting there and reaching that type of thing, but. Uh, I always thought when the new rule was put in, the, the emphasis, I should say, uh, was that freedom of movement meant out on the floor with the guarding the dribble. And we were prepared, look, you gotta keep your hands off. Any little contact, they're gonna call it. Two hands is automatic foul. Multiple touches, automatic foul. We, we worked on that. But when someone's running through the lane and you're running with them like this and they make contact and the guy flops and they call it foul, that one, that's, I don't think that's right. Do you, I guess, do you see at this point that the game is going in the right direction because of these emphasis? Do you, do you think college basketball will be a better product because of the way they're emphasizing these certain rules? I don't know, but what I, I could see happening if we stick to this is that everyone, and I mean everyone, is going to pack it in. And to me, that makes for a slower game. If everybody just gets back. We don't want to be out on the floor. We don't want to get an unnecessary foul call. We just, everybody packs it in. College basketball is you pack it in defensively if you want to keep your players on the floor. If you don't want to put people in the bonus at the 12-minute mark, uh, everybody's got to pack it in. So I just don't, I don't know what that's going to look like if that happens. Is uh, there ever any thought then from you to <laughs> especially when you're in foul trouble, to go back to a zone or oh, or, yeah. or, or, sure. or do you think your kids just need to learn how to play this defense with these rules? Uh, we will definitely consider zone. I think we do have to learn to defend. Like I said, by the third game, we were starting to adjust a little bit. And if those fouls are going to be called, I don't think we're going to, again, we got to stay away from the silly fouls. When it comes to your trying to, you know, really disrupt passing lanes, deflections, all that kind of stuff that you've emphasized over the years, how how do these off the ball fouls really affect, kind of how well, you're they, trying to coach? They definitely affect us because uh, if you're going to play that aggressively like we try to play, then uh, we're going to get our share uh, share of fouls called against us. Before this rule came in, we would get a lot of fouls called on us before. So this isn't the first time, but. Uh, you knew more, you kind of knew those were fouls. Now you're thinking, well, that guy must have pushed off. Oh, <laughs> that's on us? <clears throat> really? I don't, you don't know what to tell your guys. Sometimes I don't know what to tell them, how to play it, because they were like this the whole time. But if I'm moving here and you make contact with me a little bit and you bumped off, that seems to be a foul. 